going to take a look at the Maxpedition Malaga. And this is from their Gear Slinger series. The Gear Slinger has been very popular. It's very versatile. It makes a really good adventure pack or a day pack. If you're familiar with the Gear Slinger series, it's one strap like this. But one of the things that's really inherent about the Gear Slinger is that you can pull it around and you can get to your gear, which is different if you're wearing a backpack. Wearing a backpack, you've got to totally dismount it. With this, you can continue to be on the move and get to the gear you need really quickly. Maxpedition has some of the most rugged packs out on the market, but the unique design is really what makes Maxpedition my favorite. There are so many different really cool things that Maxpedition does, and there's so many choices. I think the worst thing about Maxpedition is that it's so difficult to make a solid choice because so many packs can fit very specific needs. Now they start out with a thousand denier Kadura ballistic nylon and this has been treated with a, a Teflon finish that is really great for abrasions, keeps it really looking good, but it also keeps it from staining. And one of the things you don't want to do with a Maxpedition pack is throw this in the wash. Uh, you can just take a wet damp cloth and rub it and clean it. Now this is about a day pack size. It's about 14 inches by 10 by 7. And you have a number of different compartments. You have an, a main compartment in the center which we're going to look at. You have an outer upper pocket, you have a large lower pocket. And then on here you have straps that are not only compression straps, but this is also a security strap. When these are secured down, it makes it difficult to get the zippers open. So when somebody's messing around with your pack, they can't get in quick. They've got to actually open it up here, the compression straps again, keeping this solid. Just a little bit of an added feature without making it too complicated. They use Duraflex quick release buckles. So they're actually a little quieter than some of your others, plus they're very high quality. You have your one inch webbing, which is box stitched, double stitched in stress points, fully adjustable, and this can also be completely removed. Along the side, you even have keepers that keep the excess cordage out of the way. The pack is completely covered in PALS webbing, which is also Molly compatible. And this allows for any kind of exterior packs to be put on here, very versatile. As you can see here, I have a little flashlight sheath from Maxpedition attached to the side. Now these can also be used for different applications as well. This little Light My Fire knife fits right down into the PALS webbing very nicely. I'm not going to give the dimensions of every pocket because you can go to the Maxpedition website and be able to see all the different specs. Most of the main packs have double YKK zippers to be able to get to with paracord pulls. One thing about YKK zippers too, the more you use them, they seem to lubricate the zippers. So it makes it really easy, especially after much use, to be able to get into your pack. Here we have shock cord with a keeper. This is to allow you to put different things on here and also in this sleeve to secure it. There's a lot of hook and loop on here, of Velcro. This is a Maxpedition patch that's sold separately, but it does fit very nicely right on the Velcro. This also allows you to identify your bag, such as this small little American flag. Now it has a nice outer pocket, lower outer pocket, with double YKK zippers. Also has pockets inside, these little mesh pockets. This allows you to be able to see what's in your bag. And these are separated. There's also one behind here, a nice sleeve to be able to put maps or papers. The front here also has a zippered mesh pocket sleeve with elastic bands here to secure other items. Also have a nice little keeper to put extra keys. On the front of the pocket, we have a zippered little pouch, nice little sleeve for certain items. The top outer pocket have a nice little place to be able to put a lot of items. Uh, it does have some room to be able to place some loose items. Of course, then we have little keepers here that are elastic, and we have a little sleeve in the back to be able to place valuables. The main pocket has double zippers, very roomy, a lot of room in the bottom. You can see that a really large items can be placed down here. It does have a Velcro snap here to secure this sleeve in the back. On the front of the pocket, there's a nice sleeve that has a zippered compartment. It has two open sleeves. Then a Velcro pull to be able to lift up. And you have a really nice large pouch that's hidden behind the main compartment. Of course, it has a grommet in the bottom. This is going to keep from water from being retained into the bag itself. And as you can see, there's a lot of gear that can be put in this bag. And the good thing about the zippers, they hold up well so you can really pack it out has an exceptional grab handle with the box and X stitching. Neoprene sleeve on here that's been double stitched into place. It's great to have a grab handle to be able to just to lift it and put it where you need to. 
D-rings on either side to attach gear. And then we have the large strap, and this goes across your chest. It's really nice and wide. It's closed foam padded, and then you have keepers all the way down. It has these elastic bands to be able to put a hydration tube through these bands to keep it secure, and of course, the D-rings as well. You have a small little sleeve pocket right here. Large, nice Duraflex buckle. And it's great to have this buckle right here because you can dismount this bag really simply just by undoing the buckle. And that strap ends in a little clip that goes down on a D-ring. The one good thing too is this is on a swivel. So no matter how you attach the clip, even if you do it backwards, it can spin around. And there's a keeper at the end here once you adjust your strap to where you want it to be able to keep it secured. There's a sternum strap to give you extra security, especially if you're in a hurry, if you're on the move with the Duraflex buckle. This is also easy to release. And then there's a whistle. And the whistle's great if you get lost or if you need help. Now the sternum strap pulls from the back, attaches here. Then you can cinch this down wherever you want it to make it comfortable. The sternum strap really is made in case you're in a real hurry or you need to stabilize the pack. But then it's also, again, quick to release, quick to release. Really handy. The Malaga is totally ambidextrous. Because of this centralized strap and the way that it curves on both sides, it goes either right or left. The way to switch it, unhook at the D-ring, and then hook to the other side. Now, your left hand carry. And to be quite honest, it's just as comfortable. You can also switch the sternum cord from this D-ring to that D-ring going from right to left. I typically don't like to use the sternum cord just because I like the quickness of being able to remove the pack, you can place it in this little closure with Velcro, and this keeps it fully contained. Now the back of the pack has this nice rubberized mesh, and it's close foam padded inside, and this really keeps your back from getting too sweaty. There's a nice D-ring with a buckle and Velcro. This is going to keep this secure. All this box stitching, double stitched and stress points, this is all throughout the bag. There's a nice hook and loop field here, but what this is specifically for is your sidearm. This keeps it hidden, but really quickly accessible. I have a Maxpedition Universal holster here, uh, which is sold separately, but I recommend getting those for your pack. And you can see, even this large frame pistol remains hidden, but if you have a smaller pistol, it'll even be easier to keep it concealed. Works with Malaga too. Now you can substitute this for a 50 ounce hydration bladder and to be able to use it, and there are hookups again for the tubes. Now it is a triple polyurethane coat, and in the great outdoors, water is everywhere. Rain can happen at any time. So because of that triple polyurethane coat, it just takes the water and it just runs right off. It's just like water off a duck's back. Water will be retained in the webbing itself, but it dries quickly. But on the Kodura, it stays really good and dry. I've used Maxpedition gear every day for the past four years. And it holds up well, it's rugged, it's tough. Some of the pieces I have have really been through a lot, and yet they hold up excellently. Now, if you order from the Maxpedition website, you get a 10% discount using Such and the coupon code when you check out. And Tim's just a great guy. He's put together a lot of incredible different style packs, very versatile to fit almost any need. The Maxpedition Malaga, an incredible adventure bag. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Neuroplink. It has a nice Neuroplink print. It has a really nice, heavily stitched with box stitching with X, X and box. The pack is completely covered with Miles Wet 